Hello everyone, it's Laura here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make a shaker card and also how you can alter your stamps to get most out of them and stretch your supplies. For this card in particular I use a digital stamp by Crafting Desert Divas and because I wanted to create a card for the summer uh, coffee blog hop I thought it would be fun if I took this image and gave the little guy some sunglasses to match the summery feel of the blog hop theme. And because I wanted the car to be bright and fun, I decided to turn it into a shaker and to use, you know, bright and cheerful colors for my coffee cups. I decided to color them with my Zicklin Colorio brush markers and for this reason I printed them on some Bristol Smooth cardstock. I already uploaded a video on my channel that describes what I do when I color with Zicklin Colorio brush markers and I will link it down below as well as at the end of this video. And because I don't want this to be a coloring tutorial, but I just wanted to show you how I altered this stamp and how I created a shaker, I will now put some music and I'll speed up the coloring process and I'll catch you at the end when the images are colored. Now that my images are colored, I can come in with my Cutter B scissors and cut them out. And I have to say that these scissors make the job much, much easier. Anyway, I also wanted to draw your attention to the fact that it was really easy to give this image an entirely different look than, you know, what it had at the beginning by just filling in those glasses with some black marker and giving them some bright colors. You know, I mean, coloring the images with some bright colors. And I really love to find creative ways to stretch my supplies because it makes me feel I'm getting the most out of them. And so I decided I would share this little tip with you and hopefully you find it useful. And here I'm coming in with my gel pen, my white gel pen, to add some reflections on the glasses to make it look even more realistic. And now that I'm done with my images, I can move on to the card base. I'm using this circular die by Crafting Desert Divas to cut a circular opening on my card front because, as I said at the beginning of this video, I'll be creating a shaker card. So as you see, you get this nice frame, uh, the circular cut with the stitching detail all around, and then, you know, the central part that I would not need for the shaker, but I can use in another project. And because I wanted my background for the shaker window to be bright and cheerful, I decided to use this paper. This is from the Hello Sunshine 6x6 paper pad by Dudo Bag, and I'm cutting it to size to fit the back of my uh, shaker card. Yeah, so I don't know what happened here, and I'm sorry because this didn't get recorded, but basically I coated the window of my shaker with some acetate. I coated its back again with 
uh, some foam tape. And then, you know, the piece of paper you, you see at the back is my uh, shaker background. And that's just another piece of white cardstock cut at the standard A2 size card where I glued down this pattern paper from Doodle Bug. So I picked out a mix of sequins that would match with my card colors. I removed all the backing of the, you know, my foam tape. And now I'm adding even more sequins because I really wanted this card to be bright and cheerful and summery. Plus, you know, the shaker area is really big, so I didn't want it to look empty. And with hindsight to, you know, save a little bit of sequin, what I could have done is to add some foam, foam foam or more foam tape to the areas that will be covered later on by the cups. But, well, I didn't think about it. For the sentiment, I decided to use the hashtag awesome sentiment because I thought it was really fun and perfect for this card. And this comes from the Crafting Desert Divas Tiny Sentiments uh, set. And I stamped it on my card using my Memento ink in rich cocoa. And as a final piece of, you know, embellishment, I decided to use a, a strip from that same doodle bug Hello Sunshine paper pad to sort of ground my cups and finally I attach them to the card front using some liquid glue. And that's it! That's my card for today! I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If so, please let me know in the comments below. You can also check out my blog for the full list of supplies and I hope I'll be back soon with another video. Ciao!